right? Shalom, before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak Rash, to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all like Akim, Wa learning and teaching and truth and sincerity. Another video to the Spirit, Brother Malak from GMS Detroit. Yeah, yeah, I'm tapping back into this video because I want to lock in on something. Um, and this is a video that I've covered before, but. Uh, what are some of the things that the Holy Spirit does? Okay, these guys who came up scoffing us some years back, in which they, they come around every so often. Uh, the bus stop ministry dickheads, wacky tacky Christians, they go around, you know, they mess with IOI. So they like to mess with the Israelite camps out here in Detroit. You see right here, you know, I'm not clicking on none of them, but you see, you know, they running up on IOIC with the camera on them, you know, fucking with them. The guy has this book called those lying bastards the so-called hebrew israelites you know so we're lying bastards but the white man enslaved you and it's all good uh hey they, they did a clap back at iuic blitz on iuic so you see you know they just some butthurt christians they mad that you know the israelite uh, i don't want to use the term movement but the truth has picked up steam an old-fashioned raccoon <laughs> christianity has fallen out of grace but right here, they're confused on what the Holy Spirit is. They believe that the Holy Spirit is God, uh, if you will. That it's a part of the, uh, you know, the Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are all three. One entity, that's what they believe, and they're incorrect. And so when the brother was speaking to them right here for a second, you know, they weren't able to digest the things they were saying because they all, they're, they're, they automatically error in believing uh, incorrectly of what the Holy Spirit is and what it's capable of doing. Not only does the Holy Spirit have the ability to send a person wisdom and knowledge to understand the depths of the scriptures, but the Holy Spirit is able to also perform miracles. And that's what I'm zeroing in on in this part of the vid video. All right, we're going to look in different instances in the scriptures in which the Holy Spirit gave mortal men the ability to do things that are supernatural. Okay, so let's let this play for a minute. Preach. And what does the scripture say? The scripture says they hate they hate them that, that rebuke him in the gate. They hate him that speak in the gate. But that's we're out here to wake up our people to who we truly are. Right, right. We 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 believe through faith that we're the Israelites. Because of according to the the things that were prophesied to happen to the children of Israel within the future days. That's the reason that we believe that. Right. And this isn't something that, that was revealed to us by, by way of man. This is something that was revealed unto us by way of the Holy Spirit. What if, what if the Lord said to me at your So right here, you know, when he made that statement, that's what set him off. Now, they post the scripture, 1 Corinthians 3 and 16 and 1 Corinthians 6 and 19. says, what? Know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh and that the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you says uh and do you not know that your body is the temple of the holy spirit who is in you whom ye have from yahweh and you are not your own so right there they use those two scriptures to say that the holy spirit and the heavenly father yahweh are the same entity because they're bugged the fuck out <laughs> we let it play a little bit does, 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 does the holy spirit say anything that's contradicting to to the word of god So one, the idiot off to left, you can't see him yet, but he said the Holy Spirit is the the third eternal person of God. So right here, you, you read this little bullshit right here, right? It says what? One God who coexists is three eternal persons, but is one being having a single divine nature, same in essence, substance, and nature, but different in office and person, and the Holy Spirit is uncreated. Let's lock it. Uh, the Father is uncreated, the Son is uncreated, and the Holy Spirit is uncreated. And all three are eternal with no beginning. Uh, that's incorrect. And this ain't a scripture. This is them typing up their own make-believe words, trying to make it sound like it's... This ain't scripture. And there ain't no precept to back this up. The Messiah was created. Spirits in general, angels were created. Uh, demons were created. The Spirit of Wisdom was created. Yahweh Shai was there in the beginning. So we're going to go disprove this little retard subtext right here in a second. The Holy Spirit, according to John 6 and 63, these words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The Holy Spirit is, is the word. The Holy Spirit, let, let, me, let me elaborate on that. The Holy Spirit is the understanding of the word. The Holy Spirit gives you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the word of the Lord. So you don't read the And the 
brother made a correct statement. That's that, that's one of the main offices of the Holy Spirit. All right, the Comforter, as Yahweh Shai said, he was going to send to us. So, and this, you know, they posted to John four and twenty six. This is from a different version. spirit that exists and it's able to do many things and one of its main things is wisdom and another thing that the Holy Spirit does is give power so firstly let's go prove that all you got to do is type in this first begotten right this is fucking easy work Revelation 1 and 5 it says what and from Yahweh Shai Mashiach who is the faithful witness and first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto whom that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. So, let me see. Let me, do, let me get another one real quick. Right here, Hebrews 1, we're going to go 5 through 6. It says, What? For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. Again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, and let all the angels of Yahweh worship him. So right here, y'all, not so not only Yahweh Shai was the first spirit created. That's why he's titled the first begotten. He was literally the first created spirit by the Heavenly Father Yahweh. He is his son, literally. Uh, not only is he the first spirit created, but he is also the first begotten of death. Now, when you read in the scriptures, was you had people who had been resurrected from dying. Yahweh Shai was the first one to conquer death. He got that new glorious body unto perfection, y'all. That's why, if you if you remember when he was resurrected, when you had uh, uh, Mary, she was about to touch him. He said, "Don't touch me," because <laughs> he was in his perfect state. He said, "He said, he said, ah, uh -uh. he said, back up." <laughs> right? Yahweh Shai was the first was the first one with that chosen metamorphose. You look up to that word transfigured that gets mentioned uh, when it says he was transformed. Metamorpho. He was the first one given that that perfect chosen body, right? So he was created. So that little paragraph that they put where it says the son wasn't uh, he's uncreated. No, nigga. The Heavenly Father created him. When what Yahweh Shai went on to do with the elect was to create all things. Uh, 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 let me see. It's like it. Um, all you have to do is go look at the word God. When you read um, in the scriptures, uh, you get the word Alahayim in Genesis, right? It was plural. That was Yahweh Shai, the elect, and the angels. You best believe, and the Holy Spirit getting down. Right? And just because the phrase hold the Holy Spirit isn't used heavily, because okay, literally you read the scriptures, you have the term Holy Ghost, right? But that that term doesn't really start popping up regularly into the New Testament. But that doesn't mean that's the Holy Spirit been around, y'all, as we're gonna get through examples. It's gonna be a little bit longer video. I just got a lot I want to say. But the Holy Spirit been around. The Holy the Holy Spirit didn't just pop up in the New Testament. <laughs> the heavenly father been making miracles for us all right you just you had uh the comforter the holy spirit gets sent to the disciples the ability for them to understand all the prophecies that was written um pertaining to how shine that was sealed from them while he was here you know they had to be in that dumbed down state and that state wasn't lifted off of them until after he left okay Colossians 1 and 16 it says for by him were all things uh, created that are in heaven uh, you know what shoot let me start up another another term another cut Colossians 1 and 15 who is the image of the invisible power uh, the firstborn of every creature so literally the Messiah Yahweh Shai he is the firstborn of every creature he the heavenly father was here all right, we're not going, that, that is what it is. The Heavenly Father is uncreated. Everything else after was, right? Yahweh Shai was the first spirit created. 
and carried out the mission of his Father. For by him were all things created that are in earth and that are in heaven, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions, uh, principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. All right. So this guy, uh, those two guys don't know what they're talking about. Um, you go to John 1 and 1. It says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with you, Hawa, and the word uh, I'll say word was with the power and the word was the power All right, so Yahweh Shai was with the heavenly father Yahweh from the beginning uh, when he did his thing in creation alright these people oh the trinity that's what it's called y'all I don't know why it escaped me uh, the fucking uh, trinity y'all the, the trinity jo the doctrine all three or one no he did he did the heavenly father didn't throw a football in the air transform into jesus and then hurry up and get down there and catch it <laughs> and then threw it back in the air while he was on the cross and then went no okay it don't um it doesn't work like that all right now let me come back uh let me come back Oh, just old nigga idiots. Let me see. Oh, I remember Slacky. I wanted to get one more. Then we'll get to the second topic, which is uh, the Holy Spirit uh, giving people power, which Yahushai himself said it was going to do. So not only did he say he was going to send the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, which is going to give his disciples wisdom, he also said that the Holy Spirit was going to give his disciples power. Okay, and that's that scripture, as we're gonna see here in a second. If a nigga can't get it, fuck him and drop that nigga in a volcano. Shit. Proverbs eight, and uh, we're gonna be starting at uh, twenty-two. Now this is Solomon speaking, but who do we know Solomon is? Yahweh Shai, the reincarnation. And so what was with Yahweh Shai there at the beginning? Proverbs 8 and 22, it says, The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from the everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no fountains abounded with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world, the heavens I was there when he set up when he set a compass upon the face of the depth when he established the clouds above when he strengthened the fountains of the deep uh, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment when he appointed the foundations of the earth then was I by him as one brought up with him and I was daily his delight rejoicing uh, rejoicing always before him so literally, y'all, Yahweh Shai was there at the beginning with wisdom, with the spirit of wisdom. All right, wisdom comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's a blessing given to men, which a lot of motherfuckers don't have. That's why they don't get it. Okay, which both of those things were created. Okay, so this guy, these guys right here, they're fucking clowns. They're they're just fucking clowns. That's it. Standing up the heart of the Lord. Do, do you think, okay, do you, do you, do you feel as if the Holy Spirit comes? The Holy Spirit is not God, all right? Now, they're posting this scripture right here, completely misunderstanding it. You have Acts 5 and 3. Uh, now, this is dealing with the story. You had the man and the wife, uh, Ananias and Sapphira, who had lied to the apostles about how much money they had after they sold their belongings, right? Uh, now, they're going to take this phrase in here and just completely... Man, y'all, the scriptures ain't for everybody, man. Acts 5, and uh, let me start. I'm going to just read it actually out of KJP. Oh, shoot. Drop my phone. Acts 5 and 3. Motherfuckers, man. <laughs> Acts 5 and 3 says, But Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back part of the price of the land? Um... Verse 4, while it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto Yahweh. 
So right here, they misinterpret this to say that the Holy Spirit and the Heavenly Father are the same thing. It's, 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 it's literally all the apostle said. He said, look, you didn't lie to us. You lied to the Father. That's all he's saying, y'all. The same way you read in the scriptures when Yahushua says, if, you, if they reject me, they rejected the Father because the message comes from the Father. Ultimately, all interactions that go down here, the Heavenly Father witnesses them. Okay? That's all that this is saying. This ain't, this ain't saying the Holy Spirit and the Heavenly Father are the same entity. Once again, they're bugged the fuck out. Do you, do you, do you feel as if the Holy Spirit comes from the Most High Heavenly Father? Do you think that we're just out here for no reason? No, I don't think you are here for no reason. And I think that a lot of people who come out and preach their gospel, they go out for a reason. But is it following the word of so you know so there eventually the topic's going to change but this is this what we're tackling they don't know what the holy spirit is nor do they know what it's capable of doing they think that it's the heavenly father uh and that's simply not the case the holy spirit comes from the heavenly father but they're not uh there ain't no such thing as the trinity all right what we gonna do actually as a matter of fact we go we stay in the same books we're gonna go to uh, uh, acts the first chapter and squash um, some of the silliness. What did Shai himself say? What did Shai himself say, y'all? All right, so we right here. This is from Shai himself. So if one of those two black monkeys have a problem with it, you know, you got to take it up with the Lord. This is Acts 1. The disciples had asked, you know, are we going to get the kingdom now? What was the Lord's response? Acts 1, we're going to start at verse 8. It says what? Uh, but ye shall receive power. Ye, <laughs> but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. The Messiah himself said that the Holy Spirit was going to come upon them and give them power. And like I did with the video yesterday, you go over to the Acts, the second chapter. What was the miracle? One of the miracles that happened. Speaking in tongues. I mean, what? Speaking in other languages. They were able to communicate with the Israelites who came from foreign countries. Which was to the astonishment of everyone. Because the people there at Jerusalem, you know, they only supposed to be speaking Hebrew. So literally, the Holy Spirit. This was one of the miracles that was done. Let's look at uh, and now you. So now, now that you you know that the Holy Spirit can give wisdom, but now can also give power. So now all you can literally do, y'all, go to any scripture, go to any instance in which a Israelite man was given the ability to do something great and supernatural. One of the first ones that came to mind was what for me, Judges. Let's do uh, let's do this. Boom. The spirit move. What spirit? Let's do this. Spirit. Okay. Let's say moved. I know it's judges. He was a young man. <laughs> um let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Judges 13 and uh 24. It says what? And the woman bare a son and called his name Samson. And the child grew and the Lord blessed him. And the spirit of the Lord began to move him at times in the camp of Dan between Zorah and Estahol. All right. When you know the life of Samson, what are some of the things that he did? He killed a fuck. He killed a lion barehanded. He slew many Philistines. He had the uh, instance where he took a jawbone of an ass and killed a thousand men with it. The Holy Spirit remained on the jawbone of the ass for it not to shatter, although it was crushing other people's bones, ligaments, mm -hmm. and flesh. God damn it, Salakia. Let's get this example. Judges 14 and 6. And the Spirit of the Lord, what spirit? The Holy Spirit, came mightily upon him, and he rent him as he would have rent a kid. And he had nothing in his hand, but he told not his father or his mother what he had done. What did he rent? Meaning, what did he rip to pieces with his bare hands? A fucking lion. Who else should that remind you of? David. The spirit came upon David to where he killed a bear 
and a line in order to protect the sheep. Let's look at another instance. Um, who else did the Holy Spirit come upon to do something? Uh, yep, 1 Samuel 10. I'm going to start at verse 10. And when they came thither to the hill, behold, a company of prophets met him. And the spirit of Yahweh, what spirit? The Holy Spirit came upon him. And he prophesied among them. And it came to pass, when all that knew him before time saw, uh, saw that, behold, he prophesied among the prophets. Then the people said one to another, What is this that has come unto the son of Kish? Is Saul also among the prophets? So Saul, as wicked as he was, the Holy Spirit came upon him. And this happened on another occasion too. As a matter of fact, this happened when he was trying to go kill David. So the Holy Spirit called him up in a trance of prophecy to stop him from killing David. So once again, we say hey, the Holy Spirit and the Heavenly Father are two separate entities. So according to those people, is, is Saul God? Is, is, is Samson God? Are the disciples parts of God? Does that make sense? If, if to them, if the Holy Spirit is one of God's personalities, how is how is God able to you understand what I'm saying? So God is also Paul in them and Samson and, and Saul in them and David and Philip and Edris and you, 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 come on now, y'all. We could do this with we could do this all the damn day long. All right. So those guys clearly don't know what they're talking about. When you read these scriptures, you come to the understanding that the Holy Spirit is capable of doing a handful of things not a handful a lot of things but it's not just one it's not on one lane the heavenly father sends the holy spirit as mighty as it is to do many things and it, it, the holy spirit has been around y'all it didn't just show up in the new testament we just get properly and formally introduced it's given the title the comforter in john 14 and 6 uh, 26 but the holy spirit been had our backs been out here working protected and saving and given wisdom and knowledge let's get an example i mentioned uh edris i'll grab the example with him with ezra properly right Isaria in the hebrew uh, uh <clears throat> 14 second edges 14 and 14 and where is that? Yep. Second Edges 14 and 38. It says, And the next day, behold, a voice called unto me, saying, Edris, open thy mouth, and drink that I give thee to drink. Then I opened my mouth, and behold, he reached me a full cup, which was full as it were with water. Then I opened my mouth, and behold, he reached me a full cup, which was full as it was like uh, as full as it were with water, but the color of it was like fire. Um, and I took it and drank, and when I had drunk it, drunk of it, my heart uttered understanding, and wisdom grew in my breast, for my spirit strengthened my memory, and my mouth was open and shut no more. So in this instance, we have the angel hand Edris a cup with the appearance of, uh, it says what? Um, it says is it was full as if as if it was water, but the color of it was like fire. He drank it. And the Holy Spirit of wisdom came upon him, which is how, you know, we have the, uh, the his books that we have today. You know, he the scribes that was under him, you go on to read, it tells you, you know, the men that was set up under him and how long they, it says what uh, in 40 days they wrote 204 books. So the, the Holy Spirit in this instance, it gave him um, not clairvoyance, but it, let's say it gave him unlimited memory. He was able to tap in to everything that had happened so he could write it down so that we could have it even into today's time y'all okay these are these are some of the things that the holy spirit is capable of doing those two fucking clowns who came up to the brother don't know jack shit per usual christians don't know anything and they keep running their mouth <laughs> in vain what charles what in vain <laughs> You just type in this phrase right here, spirit came upon. And it pops up in several places. Hey, Judges 6 and 34. But the spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon, and he blew a trumpet, and Abiezar was gathered after him. So, uh, if you know the story of Gideon, the Holy Spirit was upon him to lead the army of 300 men to victory, you know, to keep the people safe. 
He was one of the judges. Let's look around. This phrase alone, y'all, anytime you see this phrase, you can make it interchangeable with the Holy Spirit, if you will. Some people it gave wisdom. Some people it gave supernatural feats. I wonder if it's going to pop up uh, with Elijah. Oh, hey, what Elisha? It says he got a double portion of the spirit of Elijah. And what was Elisha known for? He was healing. Elisha was rolling around. Hey, the Holy Spirit gave him the power of healing. Uh, at one point, um, if I remember correctly, it was Elijah. Yeah, it says he outran the chariot. I'm going to have to get that, actually. The Holy Spirit came upon him, and it gave him super speed. Um, yeah, okay, let me get that real quick. Elijah, let me do ran. Elijah, he had outran... Um, Yep, yep, perfect. Uh, first Kings, it looks like um, 18 and 46. Yep. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. This is interchangeable with the Holy Spirit, if you will. It says, And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. And he girded up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezebel. So by way of the Holy Spirit, Elijah the prophet outran a horse-drawn chariot. So is Elijah God? No. The Heavenly Father, by way of Yahweh Shai, moving in the... Because that's another thing, too. Yahweh Shai didn't just pop up into the New Testament. Yahweh Shai been around, moving in the shadows, keeping us safe, protecting us, doing the will of his Father. He was the spirit in Exodus, the chariot that was over us, guiding us, keeping us safe, right? He was the spirit in uh, Daniel, uh, that fourth man in the fire that protected the three holy children. Matter of fact, let me get, since I mentioned the three holy ch children, uh, Daniel, even the heathen, Nebuchadnezzar had recognized that the Holy Spirit was upon Daniel. Um, yep. Daniel... We'll go four and eight through nine. Daniel four, eight through nine. It says, but at the last, Daniel came in before me, whose name was Belteshazzar, his heathen name. It says, according to the name of my God, and in whom is the spirit of the holy gods, and before him I told the dream, saying, O Belteshazzar, master of the magicians, because I know that the spirit of the holy gods is in thee, and no secret troubleth thee. Tell me the visions of my dream that I have seen and the interpretation thereof. So right here, Nebuchadnezzar, now, you know, keep in mind, they're heathens, right? Uh, but he even acknowledged that the, the gods, which is really the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the angels, were dealing with Daniel, which is why he was able to interpret dreams, which saved not only his life, but it saved the boy, it saved the gang's life, the boys, right? They was about to wipe out. Uh, uh, Daniel and the three holy children and the Holy Spirit came upon him in his sleep and to understand that dream okay these are the, these are many of the handfuls of things that the the Holy Spirit has done and I, I could this video could be over an hour if I wouldn't stopped and grabbed every instance it would be more than an hour if I wouldn't stopped and grabbed every instance of an Israelite man or let's just say Israelite you know sisters right <laughs> Don't get offended, right? If I got every instance of an Israelite to where they did something supernatural or they gained some sort of super, uh, some sort of wisdom instantaneously, it, you know, the video wouldn't end. So, but that that's that's all I got, y'all. I just wanted to zero in on that. That's one thing that I like to cover. People think that because these defunct, retarded Christians, they think that the Holy Spirit, you know, is is a is a part of the Trinity, or it's just some one thing that does one thing. No, nigga. The Heavenly Father sends the Holy Spirit down to do all kinds of things. Alright, and now that we know that Yahweh Shai, you know, it, it's uh, it's called the Comforter. Alright. And then He sends it. So it goes from the Father to the Son, and the Son sends it. You know, that's, that's the order. So, that's about it, y'all. Had to, had, to, had to double back. Had to get back to it. Um, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakurash, to honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akim, Wa Akwath, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity. Shalom.